Stephanie Gawking is a math enthusiast, and her hobby is astronomy. From her backyard, she gazes through her telescope and dreams of discovering a new celestial body. She sees a shooting star, which is a small, fast meteor with an average speed of 30,000 miles per hour. She's wondering about the path it'll take. The path of the star may be the graph of a function, but how do we know for sure? A function is a special relationship between two variables. In this case, the variables show the star's location in the sky. If the graph of the star's path is a function, then for every input, there is a unique output. Let's take a look at the corresponding function f of x equals 2x plus 8. Notice that we use the function notation f of x. This is just a fancy way of representing y. OK, let's graph the function. It's already written in slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. The y-intercept is equal to 8, and the slope, or rise over run, is equal to 2. Or, you can write the values for x and y in a table. For instance, when x equals 0, y equals 8. When x equals 1, y equals 10. And so on. Next, plot a few points and connect the points on the line. We know the graph displays a function because each x value has only one y value. To double check that the graph is a function, we can also do a vertical line test. Draw in several vertical lines. If the lines touch the graph in only one place, then the graph is a function. If any line touches the graph in more than one place, it's not a function. It's that simple. Let's graph y equals x squared. To do this, we can create a function table and calculate a few points, then graph. If x equals negative 2, then y equals 4. If x equals negative 1, y equals 1, and so on. Notice the shape of this function. This distinctive u-shape is called a parabola. When you have a quadratic equation, the graph is always a parabola. How do we know if a quadratic equation is a function? For each x value, there's only one y value. And the graph passes the vertical line test. Looking through her telescope, Stephanie sees a constellation. It's so curvy. Is it a function? Let's use the vertical line test to see if it is. Oh look, it passes the test. So this graph is also a function. For each input, x, there's one output, y. Here's another awesome constellation. But does its graph form a function? Because the graph passes the vertical line test, it sure does. And what about this one? It's U-shaped, but it's turned sideways. It fails the vertical line test, so no, it's not a function. For each input, there's more than one output. Whoa, Nelly! This one looks like a circle! Is it a function? It fails the test, so no way. Stephanie adjusts her telescope. Holy moly, stop the presses! What is that? She thinks she's finally discovered a new celestial body. It's a dream come true! Wait. Is that a firefly? <laughs> <laughs>